presence of the mighty Mississippi River, the Catfish Bend Casino in Burlington, Iowa, presents Fight Night. And what a big fight we have tonight between two of the top fighters in the entire Midwest. Troy Wyda from Kewanee, Illinois, taking on Rob Calloway from St. Joseph for the IBA Super Cruiserweight Continental Championship. I'm Kevin Hall along with Danny Campbell. And Danny, Troy Wyda last month here in Burlington issued the challenge to Rob Calloway. Calloway accepted, and we have the makings for a big fight here tonight. This is a huge fight, Kevin. This is the biggest fight of Rob Calloway's career, as well as Troy Wyda. The biggest fight of both their career. They're putting on the line tonight. The winner advances onto a national spotlight. The loser goes back down to cl club level. Callaway's record 39 and 3 in his career. Troy Wyda 36, 5 and 2. Both of these guys are very experienced. Wyda does have a bit of a size advantage, but Rob Callaway is the quicker fighter, and that is, will be really be the key tonight for Rob Callaway. Is he can he be quicker than Troy Wyda? Can he beat him to the punch? Well, there's no doubt about that, Kevin. Everybody's talking about the size difference of these two guys. Rob Callaway tonight weighed in 205 pounds last night. Tonight he's weighing about 207, 208. He's in shape. He's ready mentally. I think they're going to find out tonight that Callaway is a legitimate heavyweight. Our Jason Rush is standing by backstage. He's in the locker room now of Troy Wyda. Let's go to Jason Rush backstage. Well, Kevin, thank you very much. Fight night just moments away. We're here in the locker room of the country boy, Troy Wyda. And, Troy, you have made it very clear you do not like Rob Callaway. It's been printed in the papers and in the press this week that you guys have some ill feelings towards each other. In just a few moments, you're going to step into that very ring to fight for the IBA Super Cruiserweight Continental Championship. Your thoughts heading into tonight's fight. It's going to be a rough fight. I'm going to be here to fight. All the people here to save me. We're going to show them what it's all about. Rob Calloway, I hope you're ready, baby, because if it takes 12 rounds, it's going to take 12 rounds. I'm here, and I'll be here. 43 fights, 26 knockouts. Any predictions in this fight can and will you knock out the All-American Prize Fighter? Well, I don't know about knocking them out, but I'm ready for 12 rounds if it goes 12 rounds. If the knockout's there, I'll take the knockout. But we're ready. All right, you heard it from Troy Wyda, the country boy, very confident going into tonight's fight with Rob, the All-American prize fighter, Callaway. The answer, will he win this fight? Will he knock out Callaway? That will be answered in just a few moments. Back to you guys. Thank you very much, Jason. And now let's take a look at the tail of the tape. We can go to that graphic. Rob Callaway, you'll see, as we take a look at the tail of the tape, Troy Wyda has a bit of a height advantage over Rob Callaway. Wyda stands in at six foot three. Rob Calloway at six foot two. The weight advantage is for Troy Wyda. He weighed in last night at 210 pounds, and we'll see tonight. I think he's gained a few pounds since then. Well, he's picked up a lot of water weight. The real key here is the reach. Calloway has at least four inches of reach on him. Rob Calloway's got the speed. That's going to be a great asset for him tonight, too. That's not measured in the teletape, Kev. Biceps very even, 15 inches for Rob Calloway, 15.5 for Wyda. The neck about the same, 17 for Calloway, 17.5 for Wyda. The fist, Wyda's fist is a little bit bigger, 12 inches, Calloway's is 10 inches. Well, that's very important, but the most important factor of that whole teletape is neck size. That's how you absorb the punch. Both have a very good sized necks. 17 and a half for Wyda, 17 for Callaway. Going to be a great, great fight, Kevin. Well, let's go back to Jason Rush again. Jason is in, now in Rob Callaway's dressing room, and we'll get some words from Rob Callaway as we're just a few moments away from fight time, and Jason is standing by with Rob Callaway. All righty, fight fans. Just a few moments ago, we heard from the country boy, Troy Wada, on his predictions about how this fight will go. Now we're backstage with the current IBA cruiserweight continental champion, Rob Calloway. Rob, you're moving up in ranks, challenging tonight for the vacated IBA Super Continental Cruiserweight Championship. Let's talk about tonight's fight. This is your 43rd fight in your career. Going into this fight, you fought the likes of Dominic Carter, and you've also fought in the likes of world champion Kenny Keene. How does this fight compare to those bouts? I mean, it's, it's right up there with those two. I mean, I, I feel like this guy is a legitimate heavyweight, and it's going to be a very good fight, but I came here to win the belt. Let's talk about your shape. That obviously is a factor. Troy Wyda said that if this fight goes 12 rounds, he is ready for 12 hard rounds. You look to be in great shape tonight. Are you ready to go the distance if necessary? Yeah, I've been the distance before, and I'm ready to fight and as long as it takes to to me to win. So if it don't matter, I'm ready to go 15, 20 rounds. 27 knockouts in your career. Any predictions tonight can and will you knock out the country boy? You know, I don't make no predictions except that I'm going to win. 
All right, you heard it. A bold prediction from Rob Calloway. He will win tonight's fight. He's going one up. Wida said that he wasn't quite sure if he could knock out Calloway. Calloway also avoiding that. That's a risky assumption. So both fighters very confident going into tonight's fight. And as we said earlier tonight, the only way to find out who's going to win is when both these cruiserweights step through the ring and battle for the championship. Back to you guys. So now we've heard from both fighters. We know how big this fight is for both fighters. Danny, I think it's going to be a good one. My heart's a thumping. I'm ready, Kevin. Let's get it on. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll check back in. We'll have the fighters making their ways to the ring, and the introductions will get the fight underway momentarily. We'll be back. Fight night, sponsored by the Catfish Bend Casino here in Burlington, Iowa. As All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now entering the ring. From Kiwani, Illinois! Let's welcome the country boy, Charlie Wagner! Coming to the ring to the sounds of Country Boy Can Survive from Hank Williams Jr. Here comes Troy, the Country Boy, Wida from nearby Kiwani, Illinois. Wida issued the challenge for this fight just over a month ago here in Burlington at the Memorial Auditorium. Following a victory over Lorenzo Boyd, Wida got on the crowd, Mike. Challenged Rob Calloway, and Calloway accepted. And now we wait for the arrival of the All-American Prize fighter from St. Joseph, Missouri, Rob Calloway. I've been sitting here trying to find myself. I get behind myself. I need to The crowd on its myself. feet waiting for Calloway. For Approximately 100 fans from St. Joseph, Missouri making the trip up here to Burlington, Iowa. See Calloway in action. Wida also has a lot of hometown support. Approximately 300 fans from Kiwani, Illinois. Get a look at the many belts Rob Calloway has held during his boxing career. The WAA Canadian American title, the WAA International title, the WAA Light Heavyweight Championship. He's also the current IBA Cruiserweight Continental Championship. Tonight, a bigger title on the line as Calloway moves up in weight class. And Calloway and Wida will be fighting for the vacant IBA Super Cruiserweight Continental Championship. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, for our main event of the evening. This bout scheduled for 12 rounds of action for the International Boxing Association's vacant junior heavyweight championship. The officials for this fight judging Brett Miller, Tom Rusk, and Peter Hinkle. The referee and third man in charge of the sound of the bell, referee Kevin Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the main event will be scheduled for 12 rounds. This is for the IBA Junior Heavyweight Championship. This bout is sanctioned by the International Boxing Association, Tom Vacca, the supervisor in charge at ringside. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Introducing first, to my right, fighting out of the red corner. This young man weighed in at already 204 pounds. Tonight, wearing his all-American colors of red, white, and blue. Ladies and gentlemen, hailing from St. Joseph, Missouri, let's welcome Rob. The All-American Prize Fighter, The 
home ring and advantage. And his opponent fighting out of the blue Certainly corner. belongs to Troy Wida. He weighed in last night at a ready. 210 pounds. Tonight wearing his black trunks with red stripes. He yells from the great town of Kiwani, Illinois. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the country boy, Troy Wida. I've already given you guys your instructions in the dressing room. I expect a good, clean fight. I want you to obey my commands at all times and protect yourself at all times. Any questions? Good luck to both of you. Go back to your corners. All right, Burlington, you wanted it. Referee Camden Champion giving out the final instructions, and we are ready for action. 12 rounds for the IBA Super Cruiserweight Continental Championship. There's a bell, and we are underway. Callaway fires with a right hand right off from the back. Back wide up against the rubs and wailing away on him. Callaway going right at Wida right from the start. Kevin, that right hand hurt Wida right out of the gate. Wida came out not warmed up. Look at him. He's dry. Callaway throwing the left jab out there. Talked to Steve Holman, Callaway's trainer, before tonight's fight. He said Callaway wanted to come right at Troy Wida and probably get oh! guard. Wida struck, staggered. Callaway wailing away to the body. Wida goes down. Wida's down. Already. Less than a minute into the fight, Troy Wida is down. It's that jab that rocked him. Look at him. He's hurt. He's in bad trouble. Callaway's got him in trouble. Callaway moves in. Measuring that right hand. Wida is staggering around the ring. Na nails him with the left hand. Good uppercut. And Wida is getting barraged by Rob Calloway. Staggers up against the rope. Big right hand by Calloway. He's oh, down in the out. corner. He's down. Kevin, he's in trouble. This fight's over with. He ain't going to make it. This is a big upset. Long way to go in the first round. It's over. It's over. Just like that, Rob Calloway beats him. Unbelievable. As we get showered with beer here at ringside, the fans are not happy with this. Troy Wida was dominated early on, one minute, ten seconds into the first round. Kevin, it's he completely overwhelmed them. Wida came out, he wasn't warmed up, he got completely overwhelmed and taken out real quick. Unbelievable performance by Rob Calloway, and the fans here are upset. They expected a fight to go a long way, but Calloway comes out firing from the start and absolutely dominated Troy Wida. One minute, 10 seconds into the first round, he knocks him out. Nobody could have expected this, Danny. Nobody expected it. Wida never got on track. He never even got a shot off. Calloway dominated the fight. Unbelievable. Callaway shows he belongs in this heavyweight division. So Rob Callaway wins the IBA Super Cruiserweight Continental Championship. A huge victory for Rob Callaway. Immediately just destroyed Troy Wida. One minute, ten seconds into the first round. What a performance from Callaway. Dominated from the start there. He gets the hug in the ring from his wife, Robin who has supported him all along. Robin Calloway, definitely Rob Calloway's biggest supporter. What a big moment for these two. Rob Calloway! Let's give Troy White a round of applause. He'll be back. Come on, fight fans, give him a round of applause. Troy Wida with the hometown advantage here in Burlington, Iowa, just gets destroyed by Rob Calloway. Rob Calloway, the new IBA Super Cruiserweight Continental Champion.